I can't imagine that it would have changed more in some ways. The, the advent of the internet has, has really changed many aspects of how uh, journalism operates as a business. Um, the most pronounced and the most painful aspect of that is the uh, very distinct migration of advertising dollars from traditional print and broadcast journalism over to the, the internet. Advertisers have lost the old time religion the sense of confidence that the way you sell your products is by putting them next to traditional print journalism or interspersed uh, within broadcast journalism and their new religion is that the way you sell things is on the internet. Now that's an exaggeration of course because most of the dollars are still flowing to the more traditional media in absolute terms but in terms of the growth all of it is shifting over toward the internet. So that has caused um, great and mighty institutions to shake and shudder, newspaper chains that only 10 years ago were real titans to uh, crumble and disappear uh, right in front of us, um, and all of the big institutions to question how they can go forward as profitable businesses. Having said all that, on the actual doing journalism side, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis hasn't much changed at all. I see my path has, is having <clears throat> really just continued. I've tried to continue to do the kind of serious, traditional, uh, and in more recent years, long-form journalism that I set out to do from the beginning. And the tools I use, um, I don't know whether my various employers would be happy to hear this, are the same tools I've always used. A pen pencil, pen, pad, and, and a very old-fashioned, I assure you, uh, tape recorder. Um, and I transcribe all my own notes and I stare at them and I go back and forth through them and I start tapping things out. Yes, it's on a computer now. And when I started in college, I used to use a uh, typewriter. Do you even know what that is, a typewriter? You heard of that? When I was in college, I used typewriter. When I got had my first full-time journalism job at the Washington Monthly, which, was a, a, which continues today, a small political magazine in Washington, we had typewriters. And one of my early sort of extracurricular assignments for my boss there, Charlie Peters, was go out and get someone to buy us some of these computer things. Because we had no computers in 1985 at the Washington Monthly. I had to go out and knock on the door of philanthropists and finally found a very generous guy to give us $5,000 so we could buy two K-Pro uh, PCs. Um, but the way I do my work hasn't changed much since 1985. I'm not saying I'm not overloaded with information. I do feel overloaded with information. But when you get down to doing the work, you really, my view is you got to focus in on your subject. And I, you focus in in the same way. You sit down with people and you talk to them.